What new tools do you think might be added to the toolkit in future? Well, I think they must come out of people's experience of uh, working with the material, usually in relation to a particular language, particular learners, particular concept, uh, context, and then um, feeding that into a general pool of information. And those, which, those things which turn out to be of use to other people across language boundaries um, can be then assimilated into the toolkit. And if you were going to give a few words of advice as to how to proceed over the next few years, how would you summarise that? Well, work honestly and hard in accordance with your own no developing knowledge and understanding. Do not accept any limitations or vetoes or orthodoxies from uh, authorities or other people around you and then come to your... I'm sure that everybody who works honestly, no matter what they believe, even if what they believe is contradictory to that of other people, can be integrated into a wider cooperative context mm -hmm. and be worthy of consideration by other people. And it is this atmosphere of honest and sincere working cooperation across professional and uh, national language boundaries, which I hope has characterized our work so far and will be of benefit to the profession in the foreseeable future. Oh, on that very positive and uh, uplifting note, I'd like just to thank you for coming in again today and for having this conversation and look forward to discussing it with you in the next 10 years. Thank you. Thank you.